um, minus and division. The last two we have two extra types of division. Now, computers don't like dealing in fractions and decimal points. Um, it's a lot harder to process, they take up more space. So if we can divide just and, and just use whole numbers, great. Much faster, much easier to process. So there's two types of division. The first one is modulo division, and in Python we would have represented that with a percentage. Uh, now, I put that there because that may be how you will remember it. If it was in the exam, or if it's in the exam, then it would be written as mod. And we call that remainder division. So we do the division, and then whatever's left is the answer. So 10 mod 5, well, 5 goes into 10 twice. There's nothing left over. So that's our answer there. 12 mod 5, well, 5 goes into 12 twice, but we're left with 2. Uh, 9 mod 6, so 6 goes into 9 once, and we're left with 3. Okay. Um, next we have div, or integer division, and again that's double forward slash in, in Python, but in the exam it would be written as div. This time we want to know how many times does the, um, the number go in, and how many times does it fit exactly. Okay, so 10 div 5, we have, um, this will fit in twice. 12 div 5, well, it's 2 again. We've got the 2 left over, but we're not concerned about that, but the answer actually happens to be 2. And then the other question that we did before, 9 div 6, well, actually that fits in once. Okay, so modulo division, we're just concerned with what's left, what's the remainder. Integer division, as you know, an integer is a whole number. How many times does the whole number fit in? And again, we're not concerned about what's left, so we've got well, 5 will fit into 10 twice, 5 will fit into 12 twice, and 6 will fit into 9 once. Okay, thank you very much.